Good morning children. Today we shall learn how to draw 3D shapes. Now we know how a solid shape looks different from different angles. Like a house looks different if we look it from different views like the top view, side view and the front view. But to draw a solid shape we need to have the idea about its different views. Like we cannot see all the faces of a dice at a time. When we are viewing a dice at a time we can see maybe one face, two faces or three faces. Not all the six faces at one time. How to draw the 3D model of dice on the paper? If we draw a square then it shows just one of the faces of the dice and there is no depth. But we need to show the other faces too to express the depth. So what we drew was say the front face of the dice. Now let's draw the back face of the dice which is which is another face which is square of the same size as the front face. So we will draw another square of the same size behind it and the second square is the back face. We will draw it a little higher and slightly to the side of the front face to make it separate from the front face. So here we see the front face and the back face. Now here we can see all the eight corners of the cube which are shown by the blue dots. Now let's join the corresponding corners of the front and the back side by straight lines. So this is how it looks after joining the corners of the back side and the front side. But in the real life we cannot see all the faces and all the edges at a time. From this view of the dice we cannot see the back face. So let's show the edges which we cannot see by the dotted lines to make the drawing more realistic. Now we cannot see one more face which is on the left side. So let's make that edge too as dotted lines. To give it a more realistic look we can even erase the edges which are not visible. That means we remove the edges which we had shown by dotted lines. And this is how we represent the 3D model of the dice on the paper. Now we need to draw cuboids. If we want to draw bus or pencil box or building and many other things. How to do it? If we look at the pencil box it looks like rectangle from the top view and the bottom view and all its other faces are rectangle too. But if we want to draw it properly we have to show its depth which makes the main difference between the 2D and 3D shape. So let's draw its 3D model on the paper. Cuboids have rectangular faces so first draw a rectangle for the front face. Then draw another rectangle of the same side behind it. The second rectangle is the back face. Draw it a little higher and slightly to the side of the front face to make it separate from the front face. Now join the matching corners of the front face and the back face to make it look like a 3D shape. See this is the depth. Now we cannot see all the faces and all the edges from this viewpoint. So we should erase the edges which get hidden from our side from a particular viewpoint. If we compare our drawing with the real object we can easily find out which edges we can't see. 
like here we cannot see the bottom face the back face and the left side face so these dotted lines are the edges which we cannot see from this viewpoint so now we know how to draw the 3d model of a cube and a cuboid on the paper and this method is called the oblique drawings method to represent the 3d shapes on the paper that was all for today bye bye children